So if someone said I need a nice Concours type of steering wheel for 1928 Dodge, where would you get it? Well, you can't get it. Where would you make it? Well, apparently JB and his guys have uh, figured out how to make one. So we're gonna have a quick look and uh, see what that's all about. Thanks for coming along. Okay, so what's going on here? Okay, we start out with nothing but a photograph. The customer sent us in the chrome center, no idea what the wheel looked like, no idea what the color of the wood was, kind of an inkling of the wood. Did so, you know what car it came from? Uh, 1928 Dodge, uh, the customer sent in uh, the center bar okay. of the steering wheel, but they had absolutely no wood and no way to know exactly what the wood looked like. So what we do is we go, on, we go online and we look at a couple of examples, yep. remembering that the internet is not exactly the the Bible, uh, you really want to at least find three examples of something before you clone a concept that may very well be wrong. Gotcha. And okay. There's a huge amount of work in this, and if we were to make the wheel incorrectly, it would be doing nobody a service. We also had a, a, a remnant of another steering wheel, which was only helpful because it kind of gave us a sense of, you know, what the grips kind of look like. Right. Uh, how the center bar was put in, how it was connected. This one was done a little bit differently than what we're going to do because we have a top and bottom and this one was fed in from the middle gotcha All okay right, so if you move over here you see what we start out with is a pattern this pattern is laid on the wood the wood is cut out in blanks okay a little bit oversized yep all right and then it's all glued down to this and then um, we start shaving it once the thing is made and that has to be made top and bottom so it's kind of complicated. So over here, we're, we're, we're just about at the finish stage. Wow. Uh, so you see how this whole thing comes wow, together. This is if you beautiful. Notice, there's no slit slit in here. Okay. But so that steel is up work? inside there. Now, how do you do that? It's magic. I'm not telling you. No. <laughs> what you do is you, you hollow out the inside of the wheel and on both sides, and then you made it together. It's got to be fairly precise. Right. Otherwise, there's a lot of slop. And uh, it's, it would make the wheel very, very tenuous. So. This is, you know, this is a, something you drive the car with. This is not something you can make and have it go away. So right. we had to make sure that it had structural integrity. And, uh, and so we had to hand pick the wood. This is the wood that we used. This is a, a maple probably. And Beautiful. we're, we're going we're gonna to go in and we're going to pick the grains to be somewhat repetitive with respect to where it's going to fall in the steering wheel. So wow. we started out with eight feet and we're down to three, two feet. <laughs> right. So we used up six feet of wood right, to make in this order to just wheel. come up with this small steering wheel, which is a wow. lot of wood. So at this stage, uh, as you can see, the uh, the wheel is pretty much complete. Yep, it looks finished. If you look around me. the back side here, you can't really tell how it's put together. And that's kind of part no, of the that's, thing. No, that's amazing. And the, the, the center is really beautiful. That was done prior to coming in here, and it's all chrome plated. It's just, just wow. I don't know who did the plating, but it's absolutely perfect planning kind of see the, the quality of the plating yeah and, uh, oh, and the good. wheel will that's absolutely gorgeous. be stunning yeah that we is had one little owie on the back side and uh, I Tony is our uh, incredible artist fabricator person Tony is uh, been with us a long time and we're yet to find anything you can't do. This is his very first wood wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and and first this, one. First one. <laughs> that is ah, perfect. It'll be fine. Okay. He does yeah, he'll work. get better as time goes Yeah, he'll get better. He'll, he'll catch on. <laughs> this is about as good as it ever gets. Um, maybe photography will not allow I'm you sure to see it, will it be as closely like as we, we're looking at. Fascinating in person, it is absolutely stunning. Yeah. And so it opens up a new field for us. We've been doing cast wheels for 30 years. But now we're going to open up to uh, the, the prospect of doing our. Now, when you say cast, that's that's a resin style. Yes, or? exactly. And that was prevalent uh, in the mid '30s on up. Okay. But before that, there was there was not the technology before Tenite Company came along and started manufacturing castable plastics, and that was in in common use from late '36 up and way up into the '50s. Okay. And uh, they did a number of different casting. It was very new, it was very very attractive, and you could mm -hmm. pick the color and you could have it complement the car rather than just have the same wood all the time. You right. could have a yellow wheel or a red wheel or 
Right, it gave you a lot of new options at that point. Clear wheels. Okay. That we've done for uh, handmade cars. Wow. Very cool. Well, thanks for thanks. sharing this. You bet.